Today we are going to review MX3 Air Fly Mouse Remote. This is an amazing piece of hardware which has programmable buttons, I will also guide you about programming. Hi I am Michael and you are watching Spark Studio. Let's see what's inside the box. First of all a very useful manual consisting of all the information you need. Then a wireless dongle for the device to use like computers, laptops, Android devices, gaming consoles even handsets. Then finally the remote itself. This remote works with the dongle, that is why no hassle like infrared remote. On the front side of the remote has all the useful button that you need for an Android device or even Windows system. Full QWERTY keyboard on its back, and gyro sensor for air mouse which is amazing itself. It has not just one or two but five programmable buttons. Four at the bottom and one at the top right which has the symbol of power switch. These buttons can be programmed via any infrared remote of any device and can be used as regular infrared remote. It requires two AAA batteries. Let's install it. Let me show you in a Windows laptop. Let's connect the remote dongle on the laptop via USB hub. Let me turn on the mouse mode. You can see the mouse can be used via gyro sensor very easily and comfortably. Let me show you using Oplex IPTV. This is fake Android box which is a clone of Starsat brand, soon I will review it on my channel in English and exposing about the fraud and fake Android boxes. Now I am connecting the remote's dongle to a fake Android box. This remote is so amazing that the gyro sensor disable the air mouse while using the keyboard on the back so the user can enjoy it without any error. Let me show you the YouTube while using this remote. You can see while I am using the keyboard, the mouse is not moving. Due to this dongle it is very comfortable to use the remote, no need to face the remote to the device that you want to use. I can use it facing anywhere and even under the blanket. Now I will guide you how to program it and also show you using this same remote fully programmed for my speaker, Android TV box and even my ceiling fan. Steps are very simple to program these four buttons and one on the top right. Let me tell the simple steps. First press and hold this TV button until the LED light on the top turns on and stays. Then release the TV button then you will see the LED light flashing slowly. Then whichever remote's button you want to program just bring the remote very close to MX3's top side not touching it but very close. Then hold the button which you want to program for at least 10 seconds until you see the LED light stay on. Then press any of the programmable button which you want to program then press TV button once. That's it. Let me show you, this is the remote of the speaker, you can see powering on the speaker. And powering off the speaker. Let me demonstrate, first I am holding the TV button. You can see the LED light is turned and stays on, then I will release the TV button and the LED light will start flashing slowly. Then I will bring the remote close to the top of MX3 remote and hold the button that I want the MX3 remote to learn for at least 10 seconds. As you can see the LED light stays on, that means it is learning the command. Then release the button of the speaker and now press any programmable button of the MX3 remote. Like I am pressing the red button from the bottom. And you can observe that the LED light starts blinking slowly again. That means the red button has been programmed to speaker's power command. 
then you can press the TV button to exit the learning mode. The process has been completed and I will program a few more buttons and demonstrate you using this remote on my speaker. Now on Android TV box. Now on my ceiling fan. This remote is currently around 5 US dollars or 1000 Pakistani rupees. I hope you have learned the programming method, if you want you can watch the video again if you missed something by any chance. Please like and subscribe the channel.